Hi there, my name is Emma or Elizabeth Halliday, and I graduated last June from Mountain View High School. I'm currently a freshman at the University of Washington studying drama and international relations. And the reason I am talking to you today is to fight for something that's very close to my heart. I just found out that Rob Seidelman, my drama 2 teacher, my director for Noises Off and the Farm, my mentor, and my close, close friend, was not asked to return to Mountain View High School next year. And I am talking to you today to tell you that this is a mistake. I am reaching out to the members of the Mountain View High School administration, hoping you will hear how much Mountain View really needs Mr. Seidelman. He has changed Mountain View High School. He has changed the arts program and the drama program. And he has changed so many students and teachers' lives, including my own. One of my favorite memories of Mr. Seidelman was when we were when he was teaching us Meisner in class. Meisner theory focuses on telling the truth and being emotionally and physically present and comfortable. One time we were both doing this exercise where we had to stand across from one another and attempt to reach the truth by asking each other questions that went from stating the obvious to much deeper and Firstly, there are very few places that I would ever feel comfortable to be able to break down walls and be so vulnerable, but Seidelman had created that place within this classroom. And at one point he asked me why I was presenting myself in such a defensive manner, and I couldn't explain why. And so he challenged me. He told me to face the class and just stand there and be. You know, no tricks, no jokes, just me. And it was one of the hardest things I had ever done. Earlier in the year, um, 2013, I had become gravely ill. I missed three months of school and was hospitalized for four days. It, um, it gravely changed my appearance. I lost my hair. I was swollen everywhere. And I had red splotches all over my skin. And... This was a very low point in my life, but Seidelman didn't let me hide. He didn't let me run away. He challenged me to stand in front of the class and and be myself, and it was really hard. But I did it, and I realized that I was enough. It took him reminding us, the whole class, all of his students, every single day that we were enough. And it took him, he never gave up. And finally, I heard him. I realized that I could do it. I could trust the people that were looking back at me. I could trust that he would be there to support me through anything. Solomon is a teacher, a mentor, and a companion. It is so rare in life to meet someone who you instantly know is going to change your life. And someone who understands you and listens to you. and who will be there no matter what. Someone who challenges you and pushes you to be better because they know that you can do it. Someone you can talk to about anything and will be there. I never expected to find such a friend in my drama to teacher the first day I walked in, but I did. And I will be forever grateful to whatever stars aligns that that gave me the opportunity to know and to work with Seidelman. He deserves the best because he is the best and he gives his all every day. And he isn't afraid to change and learn and to improve. And he would go to the ends of the earth for any of his students. And now it's our time to do the same for him. Please, please hear us and keep Mr. Saddleman at Mountain View. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or if there's anyone I can talk to. Thank you so much.